enter to win this Jeep? Click the link in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the Quadrant YouTube channel. Hey, Rob here for Quadratech out at the 2023 SEMA show. And we're on our way inside so that I can show you some of my favorite Jeep builds that I've seen in and around the show. But something caught my eye out here in the Overland experience right here behind me, this awesome LMTV built by our friends at Oracle Lighting. Now this thing started life, of course, as a military surplus vehicle when Oracle got their hands on it. And they've totally transformed this into a vehicle that they can take pretty much anywhere they wanna go. Now this thing is powered by a CAT 6.6 liter turbo diesel, made it to an Allison 7 speed transmission, and it's riding on 46 inch tall tires. So yeah, this thing can pretty much go just about anywhere. Now Oracle, as you can see, has completely outfitted and restyled this truck to be a showcase of all of their great lighting products. And it's got this great habitat right here on the back. Now that thing is actually built to withstand an EMP. So when you're in there conducting business with Oracle, well, you're protected from the world outside. Of course, right now it's outfitted with some great leather upholstered couches in there and workspace, but it could be retrofitted into a great living space for extended overland travel. Now they carried that same design and theme up front of the truck here, and they've actually got the seats from their Bronco in there. So you've got a great comfortable experience when you're behind the wheel of this truck. Overall, Super impressed. I'd love to get behind the wheel of this thing and take it out for an adventure. Why don't we head inside now so I can show you some more of my favorite builds right here from the show. So we're here in the real truck booth and there's plenty to catch your eye here. They just revealed their Matchbox Gladiator right at the edge of the booth. Over my shoulder here is a six door Rubicon 392. But what really caught my eye, what I think is an absolutely beautiful truck is right here behind me. This 1962 Jeep. FC 170. I'm a sucker for a forward control. Now you may remember just a few years ago, there was another FC in the Truck Hero booth, a light blue one that I did a quick little piece on. Well, this one happens to be owned by the same man, Roy Wallace, who happened to bring this one out this year. Just rebuilt it, in fact, told me he was working on it just Monday night, fitting the final touches on this truck. And you know what, it wouldn't be the SEMA show unless it came down to the wire. This thing is powered by an LS V8. We got a 14 bolt in the rear, a Dana 60 up front. Of course, we've got some great looking race line wheels on here. It's in the Rugged Ridge booth, so it's got plenty of Rugged Ridge product on here. I saw their bumper out back. We've got a Go Rhino rack up top, some Baja design lights on the roof rack, worn bumper, worn winch on the front. So totally outfitted and a very capable vehicle. In fact, the inspiration for this was to build a chase truck or a support truck for off-road racing. So I think it's up to the task. There's plenty of storage in the back with that great aluminum flatbed. We got some enclosed storage on there and the rooftop tent up top for when you get a little tired. Now we're gonna keep making our way around the show and check out some more great Jeep builds here in the West Hall. So we're here at the Crown Automotive booth. I always love swinging by to check out and see what these guys have brought to the SEMA show. I love seeing a mix of some old retro stuff with all the new Jeeps around. This year's no different. They've got a 1972 Jeep Commando over there behind me, and then a 1979 Jeep Cherokee Golden Eagle. Now, there's a really cool story behind this Jeep. Two years ago, you may remember, they actually had a very similar Cherokee built by the guys at Max Built sitting here. Well, at some point during the show, a gentleman came by and said, hey, I got one like that sitting in the field down in New Mexico. So when the show ended, instead of heading home, the guys headed down to New Mexico, picked it up, drug it out of the field, and here it is sitting in their booth at the SEMA show. I love stories like that. Poor girl, probably kept up for the first mile or two. Oh, I better go scrape the carcass off the road. Poor little guy, probably kept up with you for a mile or so. Tough little mud. <laughs> yeah. So I had to stop by the Steer Smarts booth 
to check out their four pie e freeze e ice cream truck this thing is over the top it can't help but put a smile on your face definitely reminiscent of a big matchbox or hot wheels cars with these awesome huge mickey thompson baja pro xs mud drain tires on here these detroit steel smoothie wheels on here look great and i love this 8-bit theme that is carried through this entire truck all of this has been painted on. I've told so this isn't just a simple wrap. It's actually a lot of airbrush work on here. Uh, Nemesis Industries has some great body armor custom made to fit this to fill up where that rear door used to be and put that tub on the back so that they can serve some ice cream out on the trail. I absolutely love everything about this build. Riding on a Mopar suspension and of course a ton of Steer Smarts goodies up front to get this thing down the road. They've even gone as far as adding little cool retro touches like the fog lights. Touch them. They've got that little uh, kind of electric storm globe in there. It looks really awesome. I can't wait to see this thing out on the trail and get some soft serve when we stop for lunch. We had to swing by the unofficial use only booth to check out well, a very familiar Jeep to us. Our JTE right behind me here is making another appearance at the 2023 SEMA show, but there's something else very special here in the unofficial use only booth this year that I had to check out. So follow me right over here so we can check out Murdecon 2.0. This thing is an absolute monster. One of the things that I love about this specific Jeep at the show is the fact that it's a capable build. It's not just something that's over the top and showy, but everything on here is very functional. Now this Jeep started out as a Rubicon 392, but it's been taken over the top. Up front, we've got a Magnuson supercharger under the hood that you can see without opening the hood. Of course, Greg got a little custom with that hood, opened it up with a see-through panel to highlight that supercharger. If we work our way down the front, of course, we've got Steer Smarts steering up there, TerraFlex sway bar, and the suspension on this Jeep, well, it's kind of a mix of some of the best in the industry. There's some AV components, rock crawler components. Uh, what else do we got down there? Some uh, Fox shocks on this build. All of it meant to be very functional. As you can see, this thing is flexed out here wearing a set of 39, 13, 50 BF Goodrich mud trains stuffed up into those fenders, but I looked, they're not touching. There's plenty of clearance there. So this thing is gonna perform super well out on the trail. Now, of course, we've got catskin interior. We got goodies all over this things from XK Glow, catskin, uh, Carolina Metal Masters. Around the back here, we can check out the underneath, of course, had to allow that engine to breathe a little better with an AWE exhaust, which sounds fantastic. I know because we got yelled at the other day and made to turn it off. Uh, underneath, to hold all that power, we've got some heavy duty axles from Curry and wheels from TerraFlex, rock slide, step sliders on the side, not only to make it a little bit easier to get in and out of this Jeep, but to keep those rockers protected. Now, if we open up the door, there's one more thing I wanted to show inside here, a new product from Unofficial Use Only. And we all know that these door pocket nets from the factory, they stretch, they sag, really they just plain suck. So unofficial use only has these new door pockets for both the front and rear doors. They're hard molded, they feature large pockets so that you have plenty of room for storage inside your vehicle. They also have this great Molly pattern on here. In fact, they've come up with a new name and they're calling it the Twisted Molly Lock. I love the artwork that goes along with this. And check this out, we've got a cup holder here with this square Molly Lock on. We just quarter turn, twist it and lock it into place. Really love the idea of this new product. Now, if you want to check out more of my favorite top new products from the show, you can click the info button, make sure you check out that video. But for now, we're going to get back to more Jeeps here in the West Hall.
in the Catskin booth to check out this awesome two-door Jeep Wrangler JL with a Jurassic Park retro-inspired theme here. We swing around the front real quick. We want to check out this very familiar-looking grill to us at Quadratech. Of course, that square headlight YJL grill. Greg Henderson, unofficial use only, built one here for the guys at Catskin on this Jeep. We've got worn on here, things like rock crawler suspension, rock slide engineering, step sliders. If we open the door up on this Jeep and check out some of this amazing Catskin interior, we can check out the dinosaur footprints as well as the T-Rex perforation right there on the seat back. Some really awesome, awesome little accents like things like the T-Rex skeleton on top of our gear shift selector there. So for my last pick of the show, we had to swing by Quake LED, and it's a Jeep right behind me, but I'm gonna come back to that in just a moment. Of course, the guys at Quake never disappoint with what they bring to the SEMA show. In years past, you may remember their Gladiator that rolled in on some Dayton wire wheels. The following year, big tall tractor tires, followed up by Dually Daytons. Well, this year that Gladiator is outside. We swung by a little earlier and checked that out. It's riding on 38 inch tall, bulletproof, Plexi wheels. That's right, see-through wheels. But Quake didn't stop there. They brought this thing right behind me here, the Ruby Condo. So my last pick of the show is actually not one Jeep, but two Jeeps, a 2011 JK and a 2013 JK, and a rooftop tent way up high on top of them both. I love that Quake LED has fun with their builds, stops you in your tracks. How can you not stop and check this thing out? And yes, it is actually drivable. They showed me video of them driving this thing into the show, going down the street with the Jeep on top here. So, I mean, you could, I'm not saying you should, but you could go out and wheel this thing. Of course, it's a, got a host of lighting all over this thing, all over the bottom Jeep and the top Jeep, of course. It's got a rock hard four x four cage in there that's actually carrying the weight of that second JK up on top. Around the front, of course, we've got not one, but two Quadratech Stealth winches on there in case you need to do a high angle recovery. Uh, Terraflex suspension under this thing, just over the top. I mean, how can you not smile when you check out the Rubicondo? Now, they told me they might be putting this thing on Airbnb. I'm not sure how you can get a reservation for this thing, whether that's gonna be for the mid story there with a bed and a flat screen TV, I'm told, or maybe all the way up top in that rooftop tent. Uh, but I don't know how this could not be my last pick of the show. So let me know what you guys think of all the Jeeps we saw this year at the 2023 SEMA show. Leave some comments down below for me. Of course, we've got my top products coming for you as well. You're not gonna wanna miss out on that as well as all the other coverage right here from the SEMA show. You can follow us along on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, of course, at youtube.com and over at quadratech.com on the Torque blog. So until next time, guys, I'm Rob. I'll see you out on the trail.